This is the Halo chronology in three minutes. Let's begin. A really, really long time ago, the Precursors, who are pretty much gods, create all life to enrich the galaxy and guide the cosmos through evolution. They want to pass on their divine responsibility to another race, and the Forerunners currently are the best choice. Many years later, the decision is redacted, and the humans are chosen to accept this responsibility instead. And the humans flourish as the new successors of the Precursors. The Forerunners, enraged about the change in position, however, turn against the Precursors and destroy them, despite the Precursors having vastly superior technology. The slaughter is actually driven to the point of near genocide, but some precursors survive and convert their bodies into special dust to regenerate themselves back to their former selves sometime in the future. But eons later, that dust malfunctions and becomes a biological parasite, the Flood. Humans are infected and the outbreak begins. They fight the Flood by glassing their own infected planets. Worlds are completely destroyed, forcing the humans to retreat to Forerunner territory, sparking the Human Forerunner War. The humans are forced to fight on two fronts at once, the Forerunners on one side and the Flood on the other. They're able to fend off the Flood, but the Forerunners annihilate the humans, destroying tens of thousands of their planets and banishing them to Earth. But then the Flood returns in full force and jeopardizes Forerunner worlds. So the Forerunners construct Halo Rings, capable of eradicating all sentient life within an enormous radius to cut off the Flood's food supply stopping their infection thereafter. They also save DNA samples of all different life forms so that life can resume after a Halo Ring activation. The Forerunner Flood War continues until the Flood engulfs everything. The Halo Rings are activated. Everything dies. The collected life form DNA is reactivated, it's released, and it flourishes throughout the galaxy. Thousands of years later, two alien species, the Sanchium and the Sangi Li, find leftover Forerunner and Precursor technology. They form an alliance, the Covenant, worshipping the Forerunners as gods and their technology as relics. Prophets serve as leaders, elites as warrior servants, and other species are recruited as well. They find the Halo Rings, but they completely misunderstand the purpose. They believe the rings will bring them salvation, when in reality, obviously, they just kill everything. And then they discover humanity. The prophets find out that the humans are actually directly related to the Forerunners, and so they reason, oh man, if these elites find out, it'd mean the Forerunners are actually not gods, but they're just really old aliens. And so their religion would fall apart and the prophets would lose power. So in order to cover this up, the prophets declare war against humanity as a threat against the Covenant's quest. Their attack begins the Human Covenant War. And over time, the elites begin to figure out anyways the prophets are a bunch of fucking liars, so they team up with the brutes instead. So they team up with the humans, destroy the covenant, kill the prophets, activate a partially finished halo ring, which by the way destroys a shit ton of forerunner technology, and eradicate the remainder of the flood infection. The war ends and the elites and humans go on to reconstruct their homes. And it sounds like the humans elites win right now. Well, as far as we know anyways. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit like and subscribe if you want more of these bad boys. If you like YouTube video game cartoons, why not check out Smash Bits? Come on!